I've now finally tried every vaccine and I, I thought I'd take this opportunity to give you my review of each. I'll start with uh, Oxford AstraZeneca. It's a good vaccine. It's a good vaccine. Um, it, it's, it's got a sort of uh, fruitiness to it. Um, it's strong, but it's also subtle. It's a good vaccine. Next up, Pfizer. Pfizer. It, it's, it's a matter of taste, really. It's, I mean, it's straight out of the freezer, so it's got a real punch to it. Um, it, it. Like I say, it's a matter of taste with Pfizer, but it does the job. It's just, can you take it? Mm, Moderna wasn't for me. It, 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 it's tangy. It felt a little bit like I was being told off by a school teacher. Now, Johnson & Johnson. A lot of people like Johnson & Johnson, and that's fine. It's one dose. That's good. This is anecdotal. My personal experience of Johnson & Johnson wasn't good. The day after I had my Johnson & Johnson, I got into an altercation with a security guard at my local supermarché. Uh, I was purchasing a Mexican bean wrap. I took it outside the, 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 the store to have a look at the ingredients in direct sunlight so I could read them properly. The security guard didn't like that. We got into an altercation. I can't prove it's connected to the Johnson & Johnson, but it feels like too much of a, a coincidence to ignore. Sputnik, the Russian one. Now, I had to get this one on the black market, but I'm glad I did. This was my favourite. This was my favourite. It really pins you down on the ground and it says, you're not getting COVID-19. No way, not on our watch. And it's also got some nice notes of ginger.